welcome to yogi mobi i thank all of the new subscribers who have recently subscribed to my channel this helps a lot and keeps me motivating on creating new content for you guys so in today's topic i'll be covering windows 11 how to install windows 11 i will show you step by step in this video so stay tuned and uh, continue watching till the end this method also applies to any laptop or any desktop that you want to install windows 11 on this windows 11 version brings a ton of features and definitely in terms of ui this is absolutely beautiful if you are someone who's coming from windows 10 or windows 7 you will definitely love this new look so let's get started on the installation i will show you step by step how to prepare a usb bootable device and followed by the boot process all right guys so let's first download our windows 11 iso first go to your browser type windows 11 iso download once you go there click on the first link that says windows 11 download or download windows 11 you will be directed to the official Microsoft Windows 11 download website. Here you have a couple of options. You have this option called create Windows 11. You can click on download here or you have another option download Windows 11 disk image ISO for 64 bit devices. Now this is our option here to be download. You click on x64 and you hit the download button once you do that you choose your language definitely i'm going to choose english united states and you click on confirm once you do that it will start downloading your uh, installation once you do that you get this option 64-bit download you click on the download button and it will ask you to choose your download location now i've already downloaded the file but just for the purpose of this video i would click on save and as you can see it's now trying to download my file here on top i will show you the next step on how to make a bootable flash drive so the first requirement definitely you would need is a flash drive the flash drive is now connected you will need another software that is called Rufus so you go ahead to your downloads folder click on Rufus you choose your destination that is your uh, Windows ISO once the Rufus is uh, open you would select from here the ISO file that you've already downloaded so I'm going to browse my ISO file which is in my downloads option and then you click on your ISO either you can double click or just click on open as you can see it has loaded my ISO file and here you can choose your USB by default if you only have one USB drive this is the only option that Rufus selects option the next option here is GPT or MBR formatting options OS and TFS and everything else remain the same once you're ready to start the process you just click on start it will warn you that all the data on the usb drive will be erased click ok and wait for the process to finish it's always recommended to have 8 gigabytes or more space on your usb drive that you'll be using for this project depending on the speed of your flash drive again this process will take some time now in case if you're wondering how i am recording this screen with this little tiny bubble in here i will make a separate video of this one because this is an interesting app i'm using the samsung recording software so our usb drive is now completed and we also get a little information from Rufus that uh, the installation media is completed and you would need to disable secure boot in case uh, it does not boot properly so I'm going to click on just close and now we are ready to connect this flash drive to our laptop and start the Windows 11 installation the second step is to connect the flash drive to your laptop 
power on your device and keep tapping up F12. This will bring up the advanced boot options. Once you see the logo, here you are. These are the advanced options. You can select your flash drive from here, which in my case it's UVFI partition 2 and then you hit enter. As you can see now we've got the windows set up here and I'll show you step by step options to select. Okay. Right, so here I'll be choosing my version of windows English in here so press on that and then in these options here you would see again your language your date and time format and your keyboard settings. After this screen you click on next and then you can click on install windows. Setup is starting now. Now the next step is very important especially if you are someone who are trying to back up your data. Make sure before you do the installation of Windows 11 you have backed up your data. Okay, so you click on I agree, then you click on next. Now here if you can see, these two options here, upgrade installation and custom. I would definitely click on custom. Okay, so basically if you are doing a clean installation of Windows and you don't need any of your data from your hard drive then definitely click on each drive and click on delete press ok to confirm do this to each of the partitions if you are someone who needs your data then make sure you first take a backup of your computer data your programs and only then try to attempt this because this method, if you do not back up your data, is going to erase everything from your computer. So just a disclaimer, if you need to back up your data, please back up your data before you do this step. Otherwise you will lose everything on your computer. If you've already backed up your data or if you don't need to back up your data and you just want a clean installation of Windows, go ahead and delete all the partitions as we did before. Now you have unallocated space in here. Now my hard drive here is only 60 gigabytes. That's why I only have such a small amount of space. But this is a test video and uh, that's why I can uh, go ahead and use this whole entire space for me. If you have a 512 gigabytes hard drive or a one terabyte on your laptop and if you want to make a new partition, this is how you would do it. Just click on new you allocate the space how much uh, space you want for that new partition and then you click on apply if you do want to make a new partition just click on cancel and then it will go back to debug so i want to install my windows on this particular partition so what i would do is i will just simply click on next and there you go my windows is now installing we're going to wait uh, until the whole process is completed. As you can see below, we have a couple of steps going across. So step one, step two, and all the way when it goes here, all the way when it reaches the end, it is going to restart the computer. As you can see it's going pretty smooth. It's at 22% right now. 36 37 now if you have a brand new computer or a recently let's say a year or a two year old computer definitely the installation process will be much faster this laptop that I'm installing right now is only having a four gigabytes of RAM and the processor is Intel Pentium so that's why it's taking a bit longer however given the age of this laptop this still supports windows 11 which is a great thing and i think if you are someone who would need a windows laptop just for browsing watching videos or just casual office this laptop will be 
more than enough for you just to do the basic task and get a feel of Windows 11. Right, going on to 70%. Now once the installation of this Windows 11 is completed, I will also guide you on the first basic things or the first basic settings that you need to change in order to get the most out of your Windows 11. Or when you install a fresh copy of Windows 11 or Windows 10 for it, you get a lot of applications and goodies, I will normally call it as garbage, from sponsors, that's why Windows is so affordable. But you don't need all of these applications. So you can definitely go ahead and uninstall a few of those applications. I will guide you through a few of the applications that you would definitely want to uninstall so that your Windows has a clean look and it's much more user friendly. Right, so it's on the second part, almost getting your files ready for installation. So yes, uh, definitely. I would also be covering the start menu, what options to select when you install a fresh copy of Windows. I will also be including the I will also be including the settings for the start menu and your taskbar to get the most of your uh, Windows 11 so that your computer is uh, clutter free, you have a clean start menu and uh, you have most of the options that you need for your taskbar. One thing I would also recommend once you complete the installation is do a Windows update because this is how Microsoft or Windows 11 will try to get all the necessary drivers and files that are required for your computer. So installing features has completed right now. It's trying to install updates. Installing updates is completed and the last step finishing setup. Right, your computer will restart in 10 seconds. If you wish, you can also click on reboot now and this will reboot your computer straight. Now, important thing is once it's trying to reboot, make sure you unplug your flash drive because otherwise if you do not unplug your flash drive, it is going to think that you still want to boot from the flash drive. So do not miss that step. Once your computer uh, reboots, make sure you unplug the flash drive this is the initial startup after you install windows 11 and it takes a few minutes that is normal and there you go it's about to boot now it is going to start a couple of services in the beginning this is a normal process so be patient and uh, let it do its thing completed the initial uh, startup processes and it's rebooting the computer So this is the first time uh, it has startup and that's the startup animation. The option that you would select here is I don't have internet. Now this is because if you click connect straight away to a Wi-Fi network, it is going to look for the Windows updates and it will take a lot of time in the initial phase. So just to make this video shorter, I'm first going to click I do not have internet and then it will give me a quick warning to connect it again but i would say continue with limited setup for now once we reach to the desktop we can definitely go ahead and connect to the wi-fi again now the reason you see it yogi on as a username because when we did the usb flash drive with roofers remember we choose to copy the settings of my previous laptop so it saves a lot of time again give it a couple of minutes and this will definitely be a lot faster if you have the computer with a good configuration for your hardware So roughly the Windows 11 installation takes somewhere between 20 minutes to 30 or 40 minutes depending on how fast your computer is. As the instruction on the screen says to plug in your computer when you are doing this initial setup, 
so because we don't want the laptop to run out of battery and uh, that's why it's recommended that uh, you keep the laptop plugged in now this is the first look when the computer boots up with windows 11 as you can see on your start menu there are a couple of files and folders these are grayed out this is because you need to connect to the internet in order to download these files these are just shortcuts and i will come on this part and how to organize the start menu so the first thing you would notice on this version of windows is how polished it is uh, you see the gap between the start menu you see round you see rounded corners on all over the the options you will see a lot of round uh, corners in this new ui so let's click on start if you compare the previous versions of windows 11 this is a really refreshing look they've categorized things into more user-friendly options the first thing i would do here is go ahead and change my theme to a dark theme the reason is because since we use a lot of green time nowadays it is always recommended to go for a darker look but again it's a personal preference so if you prefer to have a white or a light theme definitely go for the lighter theme but uh, if you're into tech and if you spend long hours on screen definitely go for the dark version so since uh, we've changed this to dark version the other thing here new is your widgets right now I'm not connected to the internet so I cannot show you the widgets this is one thing I would turn off on my on my computer so you go to taskbar settings turn off task view turn off widgets so that gives you a clean look at the beginning another thing I would do is now this is again a personal preference I would like to have my start menu in the corner like the classical way so I would click on center and change it to left now as you can see my start menu is gone to the left this is how I prefer using windows all right so once you close next option is to organize the start menu so you go to settings go to personalization and then you click on start now for the start menu you have three options here you have more pins you have default and you have more recommendations now out of the three I would definitely go with more pins because that's what I want I want to have more icons on my start menu instead of recommendations so if I click on more recommendations you would notice that the list of icons is only two rows whereas the recommendation icons is now quite a lot so definitely I would switch to more pins once again now my icons are more option two is show recently added apps I normally don't need this depending on your preference you can turn it on or off show recently open items in start I normally turn this one off if you would like to see a list of uh, all the files that you open when you click on the file explorer definitely turn that feature on but I normally I normally do not want that feature on my computer so I turn it off show recommendations for tips I normally turn it off show account related information and notifications I turn it off now this is very important the folder options if you click on the folder settings I normally turn on file explorer settings documents downloads now the features that I'm turning on are listed here when you open the start menu at the bottom you would notice a couple of shortcuts here now as I try to turn on these features you would have more shortcuts so definitely I want all of those shortcuts music pictures video and lastly the personal folder as you can see now I have 
a lot more options which is definitely going to save me a lot of time instead of going in and uh, finding those options by clicking the the file explorer option so definitely i would turn them on so give it a try now since the start menu is organized what i would do next is go ahead and click on settings and then click on windows update once you click on windows update click check for updates and this will download any missing drivers that are required for your laptop or computer right click on the start menu click on device manager and you would see a couple of uh, drivers here are missing you have the yellow triangle with an exclamation mark when you do a windows update windows will automatically search for your uh, missing drivers if you see error encountered this is because we haven't connected to the internet so if you have a wired connection or a wi-fi connection connect your device to the wi-fi and click on retry this will definitely allow you to download all the latest updates and uh, your laptop will be ready to use once you connect to your wi-fi it will automatically activate the copy of your windows 11 and also it will download all the windows updates that are necessary for your device if you encounter any issues installing or if you have any questions about this installation do let me know in the comments i will try to address it as soon as possible and help you perform your windows uh, 11 upgrade so this is how you install windows 11 do leave your feedback on this video stay tuned like share and subscribe to the channel you are watching yogi movies ciao for now